What's up? It's your money. I'm back with another reaction. I'm going to be reacting to when I stole from CVS. And yeah, I used to work there. Hey, I remember when I was a kid, I used to try to get away with everything. Now I don't give a fuck. Take this. How much is that? $19.99, I guess. Sheesh. Sheesh. That's way too much. That's way too much. Yeah, I'm gonna just take some. I hate this video so much. I'm gonna take. Some. If you're ever watching this. Sir. This lady that's in this video, lifesavers. Um, I'm, I'm really sorry. Pants? Trust me, I, I did not want to do this. No, I'm all good with that. You know what I'm saying? I don't get vitamin water. I'm just looking at her facial expression. She's like, she can't believe this, and she she was really pissed off too. Um, for, for those who don't know, I, I, I did get memory. arrested and I went to jail for this. So, I I got out the next day, but and I thought the alarm was gonna go off. I'm, I'm mad that the alarm didn't go off because uh, I wanted I wanted to make the video more real, you know. But I guess the alarms don't work. That's cool. I was scared as hell doing this video too. She stopped following me now. Yeah. So this video makes me cringe. Um. Out of all the videos I've done, I definitely hate this video the most. Uh, you know, I just feel like um, I learned a lot from this. And one thing is I'm definitely not doing any more stealing videos because, you know, people don't really care about it as much as, as vandalizing. So um, uh, this was the last stealing video that I did. And I don't see myself doing another one just because it doesn't get the views. And that's what I'm doing this for. I'm doing it for views. I'm doing it for publicity. Everything is controversy. Controversy sells. I recorded this video in 2019. Again, I did get arrested. And it's definitely um, the worst video I'd done as far as in just how I feel about it. Coming into that video, I actually had to walk there. The CVS that I recorded this um, video at was in a completely different city in the suburbs. And it was a far walk. And that's actually why I got caught, you know, because um, the police, they had a lot of time to catch up to me because they didn't catch me until like 15 minutes later. But I was walking on a, a road, you know, and I had to walk straight. I couldn't go left. I couldn't go right. You know, I couldn't go through any cuts. And um, that was basically how I ended up getting caught by the police because, you know, all they had to do was go straight. And eventually they did see me. And, um, you know, spend a night in jail. I went to court. Uh, nothing happened. They just put me on this thing called filing and um, basically had to stay out of trouble for a year and I could get it expunged off my record. Uh, you know, obviously I didn't stay out of trouble, but um, I don't think I have any current warrants, so I might still be able to get it expunged. I actually had a warrant for my arrest that I didn't know about, and it was for the first video that I did, which was in T-Mobile. And um, so when I got arrested for this video, which that was actually probably a good thing because I had a warrant for my arrest for four months and had no idea about it until I got arrested for this video. So, um, you know, I could have got and I, you know, what I'm saying I could have got arrested uh, for some random situation, you know, what I mean, not knowing I had this warrant for my arrest. So that was the only good thing that came out from this video was. You know, I was able to go through that process to, you know, now I no longer have a warrant for my arrest. Um, but when I was in T-Mobile, you know, I stole a phone. Uh, it was the phones that was, um, that's uh, plugged in. And when I stole the phone, I was actually uh, recording myself. Like, you know, um, even though this is not about the T-Mobile video, this, you know, there's a little connection to it, but, um, you know, the phones that they have, like, you know, they're, they're display phones. Um, I cut the cord and um, I ended up running out the store. And that was the first video I, I ever did to start uh, my, my, my struggle series. Um, so I was able to go through the process and go to court and uh, nothing happened with that either. Um, 
But as far as me stealing and stuff, I'm like, you know what? I'm, I'm going to just stop stealing because, you know, when I posted this video, it only went viral after my first video went viral when I w walked into Rite Aid and knocked things off the shelf. So, um, like, the numbers for this video was just so low. And um, the, the consequences behind it, it's like a, a high risk and a low re reward. So that's why I, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing any more stealing videos because it's just pointless, you know what I mean? Um, people are more likely to call the police and you're more likely to get charged and things like that. And with my vandalism, I think most of those videos I get away with them. Not to say that I can't get uh, charged, but I usually don't get charged or have any warrants that I'm aware about. I don't want to glorify anything that I do. I say this time and time again. Um, I hate doing these videos. This is not how I want to represent myself. It's embarrassing. And, um, you know, it's um, it, obviously if if you're really paying attention, you can see how desperate I am and how much hope that I lost. So it, there's a lot of emotional things that go into this. Um, this video in particular, again, you know what I'm saying? It's my worst video. It, it, you know, every time I watch it, I do cringe. And um, I just kind of look at it and be like, wow, this is really, you know, the direction I took in life. You know, um, I made choices. Um, I take responsibility for that. Um, I just want people to kind of like see me as a person or see me as myself because I do read through the comments um, and just letting people know, you know, I, I mean, I, I accepted the fact that I, I kind of don't care what people think either. You know, you could think whatever, say whatever, but um, there's a part of me that want to give people the chance to kind of see me and, you know, just let you know, like, I don't think anybody in the world wants to do something like this. Um, but that's really it for the uh, reaction. Um, you know, if anybody want to uh, leave a comment and, you know, you could reach out to me, Twitter, uh, Instagram, Facebook, most of my platforms, Jamani Struggle. And um, I appreciate all the feedback.